Hi, my name is Haley Shadling, and I'm a postdoctoral fellow here at NCATS with the Informatics Corps. So how can we use metabolomics to improve detection and therapeutic development for severe COVID-19? With my fellowship, I get to do this, I get to explore this question using both longitudinal and preclinical data. So for the longitudinal study, we're working in collaboration with people at Harvard for COVID-19 samples that were collected both before, during, and after COVID-19 infection. These are from four different classes of COVID-19 severity, with class zero being ambulatory or people who didn't need to go into the hospital, class one being people who needed to go into the hospital, but just for an emergency visit and not overnight, class two were those who needed to be put on a ventilator, and class three were those who unfortunately died. Plasma samples from all of these patients were collected and analyzed using a metabolon untargeted metabolomics platform. I now get to analyze this data, putting it through univariate statistical models to see what metabolites are associated with COVID-19 severity. At the same time, I'm working in collaboration with Mark Ferrer and Emily Lee here at NCATS in the 3D bioprinting lab to see how different variants of COVID-19, as well as the flu, influence development of 2D and 3D lung cell models. With this study, I get to both collect and analyze the data using the newly purchased Zevo G2XS QTOF and the analytical chemistry core. With these metabolomic profiles, we can then find metabolites that could potentially serve as biomarkers for COVID-19 development or COVID-19 severity. We can also propose pathways for how COVID-19 is developing within patients as well as within lung cells themselves. Hopefully this metabolomics platform can be leveraged in a variety of different 3D cell models to explore different disease states. We're also looking to use and develop the NCATS Meow, which is the NCATS metabolomics operational workflow, which will enable high throughput metabolomics studies as well as integration with other omics. So with metabolomics, we can help to fulfill the NCATS mission of more treatments more quickly by offering more insight. Thank you for your time.